Eddie McCaffrey. Hey, what man, up, one of my great teammates, man. I appreciate you. Hey, being back for the Super Bowl, what kind of feelings do you get just being in this environment, just having played in, in, in the Super Bowl yourself? You know, it's a little different this year. It's a little different. 100%? I've never been to a Super Bowl where one of my kids was playing in it. Yes. So, you know, when we played back in the day, you know, we felt like we had some control over the outcome of the game. Yes. And we're like, let me just do my job. It's a team game, but I'm going to do my job. I'm going to look my teammates in the eye after the game, and they're going to know I gave them everything I had. I'm going to try to make a difference in this game. But now I'm a dad. I got my dad cap on, <laughs> and I can't do anything. Right, so, uh, right, you know, right. I'll, I'm going to be there to love and support Christian. I'm going to try to enjoy the experience. I'll be there for Lisa and my other boys who are all coming to town. Nice. You know how it is when you got a lot of kids. 100%. You don't get them together uh, at the same place at the same time very often, but they'll all be here this weekend, and I'm hoping those Niners give us something to cheer about. That's right. I'm rooting for the Niners as well. Can, can I root for the Chiefs having – been in the same division. Yeah, played them quite a few times, yes. right? You got yes. some, a little bit of history there. Yes. So what advice have you given Christian just in terms of this game? It's a big game. Uh, we've talked about football and life for his entire lifetime. Yeah. So this week it's, it's, no different, it's a different game, right? But, but now it's go do your thing. Yeah. There's, you know how it is. There's nothing left to talk about. He's got great coaches, Bobby T. Yes. Oh, a man. A Lynn. A yeah. Lynn's working with him. I'm like, with A Lynn working with you and Bobby T working with you, there's nothing I'm going to tell you that's going to help you any more than what they're teaching you already. Kyle Shanahan's the coach. We got look at all the connections we have. Brian Greasy at quarterbacks, the Kubiak kids. John Lynch is the general manager. I mean, it feels there's such a Broncos representation yes. with this 49ers team. It feels like family. So no, I don't. I don't give him any advice. I talk to him every day, and we usually don't even talk about ball. Just talk about other stuff, and he's he's dialed in. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you've been following the Broncos much. I know, especially with uh, Christian playing with the Niners. But what do you think Sean Payton has done for the coach of the Broncos team? And where do you see the Broncos at this point in relation to the other teams in the NFL? Yeah, well, I think he's turning it around, um, you know. And I, my son, Max, got to play for him for a few weeks when he was in New Orleans. And so I got a little inside look in their offense and got a better understanding for how he coaches the game. He's an ultimate competitor. Yes. And he's a brilliant offensive mind. And he's a very serious head coach. So he's going to have to make the decisions he believes he has to make to win football games. I saw some improvement this year from the year before. I think he wants to win a Super Bowl, and it starts with that. Right? Some teams are like, oh, let's try to have a winning record. Let's try to make the playoffs. He wants to win a Super Bowl, yeah. and, he's, and he's going to do everything he can to bring one to Denver. Yeah. Well, we got NFL honors coming up tonight. Uh, we're hoping that Randy Gratishar will be inducted and well announced that he made yeah. it into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Class 2024. But – what do you think? What do you think that does for Broncos country? And, and what are your feelings? I know you've met Randy. You know Randy, uh, the kind of guy he is. What do you think that'll do for Broncos country to have uh, one of the greats from the Orange Crush finally in the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Oh, he so deserves it. I think it'll be incredible. And for a long time, we felt like maybe the Broncos weren't properly represented in the Hall. Yeah. Lately, we got a lot of incredible yeah. Hall of Famers. But Randy's one of those guys that maybe because he was in a smaller market many, many, many years ago, maybe because they didn't. Uh, win a Super Bowl, he got overlooked. So I'm glad he's getting the respect and the consideration he deserves. Yeah, I agree. And one other guy, Mike Shanahan, his name has been in the hat. What do you think needs to happen for him to get in? Because I thought he would be in by now. Yeah, future Hall of Fame coach Mike Shanahan. That's, That's how I refer to him. Yes. Future Hall of Fame coach Mike Shanahan. He was the only coach that won back-to-back -back Super Bowls that was not in the Hall of Fame until Coach Belichick uh, left New England. Now they're the only two. So there's no doubt He's a Hall of Fame coach. Why they've waited this long, I don't know. I know that other coaches like Coach Cower have spoken up and asked why he's not in the yeah. Hall of Fame. So when you have other Hall of Fame coaches asking why another coach isn't in the Hall of Fame, that doesn't happen often. That tells you the respect yeah. that the coaches in the Hall have for Mike Shanahan. I mean, not only his record and the success he's had throughout his coaching career and bringing us our first two Super Bowl championships, but look at his coaching tree. 100%. Oh my That's what goodness. I say all the time. I, you, you could argue that no one has done a better job of developing assistant coaches to become head coaches than Mike Shanahan. Yeah. Root you 100%. Eddie Mack, thanks so much for spending a few moments with us and uh, best of luck to the 49ers and Christian. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be rooting for you. My pleasure.